Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today I am not at home, I'm away in the box and actually I'm staying away for the entire weekend because it's actually camp this weekend. So I am at Dennis Eventing's camp, super, super excited. Um, we're gonna be doing dressage, cross country, show jumping and I'll show you which horse I brought in just a moment. So guys, I am back up in Ripon and you should hopefully recognise where I am. I'm actually back at Dennis Eventing who I did my day in the life of a four star eventer video with. Um, it was an amazing video and I've known Kate for a while now. So Kate very kindly invited me to their adults camp. So they run a variety of camps through the year. They do like kids camps and they do adult camps. And so for the next couple of days, I'm going to be staying here and basically being put through my pieces for a venting camp. And of course, I need the perfect training outfits for this weekend. So this video is actually sponsored by Aria. Throughout, I'll be training in their Ascent collection, the clothing to elevate training. It's engineered to have compression panels that prompt the correct riding posture, while mesh panels allow breathability combined with moisture wicking fabrics. And trust me guys, I think I'm gonna need that this weekend because I am about to be put through my paces by Kate and Vic. And talk about chucking me in at the deep end. We're gonna start right in at the action and that is me getting ready for cross country. So today is Saturday and the first one I've got is cross country and then I have dressage in the afternoon and I was so nervous for this cross country lesson. So I have actually brought the beautiful Rose who I took to bowls with. So obviously Snip is recovering from surgery and Smokey hasn't quite been himself recently. So I have brought the most beautiful Connemara with me and that is Rose because if you go into an eventing camp, you need to take your B90s pony. <laughs> So anyone who doesn't know Rose, um, if you haven't seen my balls with video, she is a friend's horse who I am riding at the moment, just while my two are kind of out of action. Um, I haven't really ridden her much at all, this will only be like my fourth ride on her, but she is an incredible, incredible horse and I am very, very excited and privileged to have brought her this weekend. The race safe body protector is out guys, that means one thing, it's time to get ready for cross country.
So then me and my group who I will be riding with today made our way to the cross country field. Now here at Dennis Eventing they have some incredible facilities including a full cross country course. They actually do events here as well. So if you are interested in the camps or any of the competitions coming up I'll link their Facebook page down below and you can find out all about it. But for now I need to warm up for cross country. So. Vic said we're going to be very very careful because the ground was a little bit wet um, we're going to see how the going is and that will just depend on how much or how little we do today but of course safety is the number one priority but first up I need to get Miss Rose warmed up and ready to go I have never actually ridden this horse cross country or in an open field or on grass at all so we've got a little bit of a learning curve ahead of us So today for cross country I'm being taught by Vicky and my goodness there is nothing this woman doesn't know about eventing and cross country so I'm very excited to learn a lot from her today. She's Kate's mum so everything Kate has learnt has come from Vicky um, and I've seen her train Kate before and I know she is incredibly good at training and getting results. I started so nervous and riding really defensively because last time I went cross country it didn't end very well with smokes and so Vic got behind me and really told me what to do and before I knew it my confidence had grown hugely. Now not too quick, not too quick, rhythm, 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 better. Go on. And I really didn't think I could jump this big a log and I did it and I was so so proud of myself I literally I could have cried I was so happy that I'd overcome my fears easy not too quick well done circle round to the right that's left well done and then round to the right and then let's pop your blue house. Brilliant. Just like that. Watch you don't just have a little spurt of speed. You want to keep that rhythm. That's the only job you've got, keeping the rhythm. Off you go. Longer rain, longer rain. Let the neck out. Shoulders back. Well done. So once I'd got into my stride, it was time to let the other ladies have a go. Now, Dennis Venting Camps aren't just for eventers, they are for everyone and anyone, no matter your level of riding, no matter your confidence. So I was two, with two ladies who were a little bit less confident and just wanted to go over some small things, which is absolutely fine. Here they cater for absolutely everyone. So whether you want to go around and jump all the big jumps or whether you just want to step over a few steps, a few ditches, maybe some small poles, they will accommodate you, which is the thing I love most about coming here. Keep, keep riding the last stride. Keep those hands nice and low. Good girl. Keep your leg there. Leg, 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 leg. Good, well done. Look up, look up. What are you looking down for? Brilliant, well done. Look at the sky. Go, go, go. Trot, strong trot, longer rain. Shoulders back. Much better. Good girl, much better. Oh, sorry, guys. Right, right Claire. Yeah. So do a loop on the right way and yeah. come up and pop that. Yeah. Okay. Three. Well done. Oh. <laughs>
again. <laughs> <laughs> and so on that incredible note that brought my cross country training to an end, a massive thank you to Vicky. I have never had my confidence go from so low to so high in such a short amount of time. It was amazing to have that feeling and of course I would not have achieved it without Rose looking back to see me literally hanging on for dear life and not riding at all and riding so defensively over those first tiny jumps to then putting Rose at jumps that I just never thought I would point a horse at with my current frame of mind. I had the absolute best time um, and I can't wait to come back and do some more training with Vicky on the cross country when the weather's nicer and we can do a bit more jumping. That's it, record Georgia struggling to put a saddle on. <laughs> And of course, you might not have seen her on film, but Ellie had to accompany me and put me in my place. Um, But yeah, after the cross country, we headed to the stables. We actually got absolutely drenched out there. So I quickly untacked Rose and as you can see, her tack was a little bit dirty. Going to give that a clean straight away and also give Rose a little bit of a hose off. So obviously it's important to hose her legs after exercise anyway, but I'm gonna give her a bit of a clean because when I picked her up, she was pristine and white. So I need to make sure that I return her <laughs> in the same color. Um, and we do have a dressage lesson this afternoon. So need to make sure that she's nice and clean for that as well. And then we'll rug her up and she can have a well-deserved rest before our second lesson. <laughs> desperate times call for desperate measures I had to borrow someone else's mane and tail brush to brush my hair because <laughs> I didn't know where I'd put mine so thank you to whoever that was Thanks for getting drenched on the cross country course it was time for a change of outfit so I'm wearing the Aria Ascent collection but this time in Relic which is their brand new colour absolutely love this green I'm actually hosting a giveaway over on my Instagram for you guys to win a coastal waterproof jacket from Aria and a pair of wellies and it's running until the 9th of May so go check that out. So guys I've done my cross country lesson, had the best time on Rose, she's such a good girl. Now it's been a change of outfit because I got absolutely soaked and the heavens are well and truly opened and a change of saddle because next up we've actually got our dressage lesson. Now I've been told this is Rose's forte, certainly not mine so we'll see how this goes. I'm going to be having a lesson with Kate Dennis who is the four star rider so she's Vicky's daughter, um, so no pressure there, but I'm going to get Rose tacked up now and ready to go. And of course this weekend all of my boots, saddle pads, everything like that is from woof wear because do I ever wear any other? Not really. And we've gone white for dressage, so we've got their beautiful pro overreach boots and then their double locking brushing boots, so we'll look very smart, maybe not too long in this weather, but you know, the thought is there. If you are interested in grabbing any woofwear items for your training, then Equus have given me a 10% off code, which you can use it's in the description box below with a link to their website and their woofwear collection. And for my dressage, I am wearing my Equisy Aid. This was actually created by Vicky um, to help straighten up wonky riders like myself. But even if you're just slightly wonky, even top riders like Kate riding these, and it really, really helps your position. So I'm going to be training this today, and I'll give you a few more details as we go through the lesson as to how it helps me. And honestly, I have seen such a mega improvement since wearing and riding in this. I've been riding my Equisy Aid now for quite a while, 
and my position and straightness has improved so much. So straight into the action, we did start with a 10 minute warm up so that Kate could assess Rose, assess my riding, see how we were going and then we jumped straight into improving everything. Um, so Rose is a very well schooled horse, however I don't quite know what buttons to press with her yet. This is actually our first ever flat work lesson, any type of flat work really. Every single time I've ridden her I've actually jumped her, so I've only ever warmed her up on the flat. So this was going to be really interesting. I'm um, really excited to see what we can achieve today with Kate. It's for a little bit more inside bend now because she's quite straight in the neck. So just open that rate inside rein a fraction. Good. And then just bend the neck around to me. Yeah, that's better. Good, do you feel the difference? She's a little bit softer through the top of her neck. So just come on a circle around me. Good, and then all the time, just asking that nose round a little bit, just put the inside leg on. Good, lovely, and then just release the fingers around the rein. Good. Well done. And even a little bit more inside bend there. Good, and then soften with the fingers. Good, right, change the rein. Keep those hands up and together as you change the rein. Good, then just shorten those reins again. Very nice, hold those hands up and together. Good, and then just slow that rhythm a little bit. One, two, one, two, very nice, they're good. So she naturally has more bend this way, so just make sure that you're straightening her up occasionally just down the right rein. Good. Well done, then go large and just keep that rhythm. Drop, she's not dropping that left hand. Yeah, good. And then down the right rein there. Very nice, good. Rounder, there, yeah, so you're just asking that nose to stay round but I want your hands lifted and as a pair, there, lovely, good, turning with the outside of your body, very nice, how's that feeling, yeah good, then change the rein across the diagonal, inside rein, good, Good, round the inside leg. Yeah, good. And then same again, back the other way, get that inside leg on. Bend. Good. She's just sitting on that, left on that right shoulder slightly. Open the right rein. That's it, good. Go on, push her into the rein there. And round her. <laughs> right, circle round me, that's it, and then just give her a little kick, a sharp kick with the inside leg, just ask her to move out, that's it, and then more bend to the inside, good, and then again move her out, almost leg yield, there, you feel the difference? So she's not sitting on the inside of the shoulder now, and then hold your hands up and together, there, good. So outside leg back, yeah, good. Well done. Again, more inside bend. Good. Well done. A little bit rounder, bend to the inside. Good, well done. That's it, just make sure that you, you, the stirrup's on the ball of your heel and your heel's down. That's it, good. It really had me working hard, the coat had to come off, I told you I'd be sweating um, but it was such a great lesson and I learned so much and she really like just instantly could see what was happening um, and assessed me so well and gave me really good tips um, on how to deal with Rose and 
my position in terms of my dressage is not the best. I have this really bad tendency to hold my hands really low and wide instead of sitting upright and holding my hands up, um, which we addressed a lot. And then we really got Rose moving off that right shoulder, which really helped me actually. Um, and I thought I'd take this opportunity to kind of just quickly explain the Equacy Aid to you all. So the Equacy Aid was developed by Vicky quite a while ago now. Um, basically she had a rider that was coming to her for lessons all the time and she really needed her to open one of her inside legs to sit centrally. However the rider didn't have the strength or ability to do so for long term. So she created the Equacy Aid to be a constant reminder to the rider to put weight into that foot and to really open up that leg. Now for me for example I always tend to slip to the right in the saddle. I grip with my left knee, put the weight in my right and then try and balance myself by kind of crooking my upper body. However, since wearing the XG aid on my left leg, it's made me open up that leg, really put weight into that left foot and it places me centrally in the saddle. Because I've trained in it for over six weeks now, it then means that the muscle memory of me actually riding like that means that I can sit like that without the XC aid. However, for all of my training, especially on the flat, I always, always wear it just because I want to improve as much as possible and to be central because it's so, so important, not only for, you know, marks in dressage and the way the horse goes, but also actually for your horse's welfare. Vic was saying how she's seen so many really lame horses and it's actually because the rider is putting so much weight on one side and causing a lot of stress for them. So if you are interested, I'll pop the link below. Um, there's so, so much information on the website, a lot more than I can put in one YouTube video. But as you can see, once you start riding in it, at first it feels a little bit strange that you've got this thing wrapped on your leg. But I honestly do not know it's there now that I'm training. So guys, that is all the riding done today. Um, my dressage lesson went so well. I was really, really pleased with Rose. I think she's really, you know, so talented. Um, and it was the first time that I've actually done a proper flat work lesson with her. All I've ever done is warmed up and jumped her. So it was really nice getting her dressage saddle and see what she was like on the flat, um, doing a little bit more work. And Kate is so quick at sort of like analyzing you riding and seeing what you need because I like literally myself I hadn't even felt her being as heavy on that right like rein and then as soon as she got me doing the movement I could really feel it so yeah super good I'm definitely going to come back and have a lot more lessons with Kate um, and Vic because honestly I've learned so much today and these camps are Obviously, that's the reason you come to learn, progress, have a go at things. Um, the cross country, again, really, really enjoyed. It was so nice just to have the confidence because obviously Smokey's not been doing too great recently. Um, he's under vet investigation at the moment just to find out what's going on with him because I think there's an underlying issue. Um, so yeah, I've been riding really defensively and it was kind of nice to not do that today as much. I started a bit defensive. Um, but yeah, gradually trusting Rose um, as we grow a little bit of a partnership as well because this is still only the what? Third time? No, fourth time I've ridden her. Like literally that's it. So yeah, it's been an incredible day. Apparently this afternoon we've got a demo from a physio or a vet to talk for you through things. So yesterday we actually had... Um, a feed representative come to the yard and weigh some of the horses but I didn't have Rose done because obviously she's not my horse and I don't decide what she's fed so I didn't really see any point in me taking part in that and um, so I just watched it I just really enjoyed it and um, but I didn't film it so it was part of the camps they also have you know like people come in and give talks and do demos and things um, which is so so nice and also, can we just take a minute to appreciate the grounds of Dennis Eventing? This place is beautiful. It's 
absolutely gorgeous. I'm literally just stood um, by one of the fences now, back on the way back from the arena. And yeah, it is beautiful. So let's go check out what the vet's up to. Um, and then it will be evening routine of mucking Rose out, giving her a tea. Um, and then it's time for our tea. And I'm quite hungry because I've literally worked up an appetite today. Um, dressage, I have not done a proper dressage lesson in far too long and I forgot how tiring it is. So I'm definitely going to sleep very well tonight. So as I said, a fantastic vet physio came in and gave a really informative talk. Sadly, there's not enough time in the video to show you everything, but if you do attend a dentist eventing camp, I'm sure you'll see just as many incredible demos in person. But for now, it's time to get Rose's tea ready and to muck out her stable and make sure that she is settled in for the evening. Good morning guys, so it is now Sunday and I had a wonderful night's sleep so at the camps you have the option of like actually camping, staying in your horse box, um, because I'm really good friends with Kate she let me actually stay in the house so I had a great night's sleep um, but I know everyone camping is really enjoying it so I'm just going to go and check on Rose now and see how she's doing. Good morning little lady, morning Rose. Are you ready for your breakfast? Are you ready for your breakfast? So we need to muck you out and get you a brekkie. Yeah. So literally what I'd just done the previous evening, I gave Rose a muck out, got all the poo and all the wet out for her. Um, because obviously they are still in the stable for a bit. There is the option to walk and I will be hand grazing her shortly after this. And then I gave her her breakfast, which Rose is a big foodie, aren't all Connie's? I think breakfast and tea time is her favourite time of day. So guys, it's a little bit later on now and we are about to get ready to do some show jumping. So as I said, this is hopefully, fingers crossed, our forte. Um, I like jumping Rose. Rose loves jumping, so I just have to get after her a bit more if we do a few bigger jumps today. So yeah, very excited about that. I'm going to quickly tack her up and head out and start warming up. So for show jumping today, I'm in the Navy Ascent collection. And again, this has all the supportive tape and hopefully will keep me in the right posture or just to be there as a little reminder for me. And I have popped my jacket on for this one because it's pretty chilly this morning. And I think whilst we might be flying about at speed, I need to warm up first. Um, so it's time to head in and start warming the horses up. And 
honestly today I just kind of sat on rose and everything felt like it clicked a bit with us in the warm up which was really really nice. Started off with a little bit of pole work, first intra and then we'll be doing these in canter. And I just think that Rose is so cute and she just pulls and her little ears are forward and she's proper like concentrating on it. Good. So you didn't have enough canter, you've taken away again. Get your canter back. Now I want you to add a little bit more to that canter. Get out the saddle. Yeah. Keep coming. And again. Well done. And again. Keep those shoulders back. Go on a little bit more canter. Once more, Georgia. So striding has always been a little bit of a sticking point with me and Rose. Obviously I haven't ridden her much, but she does love to do these little pony strides. Um, so I have to really make her do a big girl stride. So this is a really good exercise for us to start on before we jump. Yeah, good girl. Well done, and then change the right. You will get told off for that though. Right, do that again, right? Ball to your pole. Don't ride backwards, where are your hands? Get them down. Down on her neck, right down. Go on, don't pull back. Be bold to the pole, go. Good girl, Where? Well, that was better. Do you feel the difference? Anybody see what's happening as we're going up the pole? Anybody see? You must be able to feel it. And what do we think about it changing legs over every single pole? Why do we think that is? Yeah, so because you have got to stay focused. You need to stay dead level in the saddle, yeah? Um, um, let's go do that one more time. Yeah. Let's really focus on something in the distance. distance. Loved how you got to the first pole. Much, yeah. much better. But okay, I'll be having this because it's yeah. literally changing directions yeah. all the time. Okay. Go, go, go. And it's because it's so well schooled, it's really sensitive. Yeah. So it's something that you're doing. Oh, yeah, it's always, <laughs> it's always the riders, you know that. Oh, God, yeah. Keep those hands nice and low. Focus on something. Focus, 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 go. What happened? Woohoo! Well done. That'll do, that's great. How much better was that? So what does that tell you? Everybody has to focus. Distances. Elbows in.
Right, go and do that again. That's the three strided distance. It needs to go down there on three. Come. Go. Better. Watch your hands. Keep them down. Don't lift them up. Good. Use the corner. Hands down. Right, that was a four sided distance. That's the best of shot. <laughs> Look up, not too quick round the turn, balance. Now balance the canter now, balance it. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's getting a bit flat, Georgia. Get it back together. Now ride forward. So just just have a little whoa. Let's start that course again. I liked your enthusiasm. Just have a little whoa, change the rain and we'll start again. I want that power of canter a bit more condensed. Yeah? So don't just ride flat out round the turn. You've got a balancer, but you've got to have that amount of power that it can come up that three strided distance. Not fast, right. powerful. Look at your turn, look, look, look. All right, balancer, balance. Now look up. Look at your turn, now keep that rhythm. Better, good. Balance, come forward through the turn now. Better. Much better. She's pretty cool, isn't she? But the thing is, you have to be a little bit more sort of disciplined with you, just make, make sure it's not okay and no one's falling off. <laughs> <laughs> um, you just have to be a little bit more subtle with her. Yeah. Because you, even when we were jumping up that line, she's changing legs three times. Yeah. That was just because of your focus change. Yeah. She's like, oh, well, where, where are we going? Where are we going? So you've got to be a bit more yeah. subtle. Yeah. Yeah? Is everyone happy? Wow, what a fantastic lesson I had. I have learned so much in this hour with Vic. And just look at Rose go, isn't she? Just a little pocket rocket with such a good little pop in her. I absolutely loved flying around these fences. Yes, we got a little bit enthusiastic at points, but it was so much fun. I had the absolute best lesson. So guys, that was my last lesson. I had so much fun jumping Rose. What an absolute machine she is. Lots to take away and lots to learn, but that was only my fourth time jumping her. So I was really proud of us. I'm feeling so much more confident. Um, so yeah, it was really, really fun. And obviously Vicky is an amazing instructor. So I've got lots to work on at home, lots of homework that she's given me. I've popped Rose back in the stable because we are actually finished now in our riding. I've had such an amazing time here at Dennis Eventing absolutely would recommend coming to their camp so they actually have two more in August a kids camp and an adult one they might hopefully be putting some more on later on in the year but I'll put all of the details down below for you so you can check those out if you do want to come along any ability no matter what you're like into whether you're a dressage rider show jumper you can do a little bit of everything here you don't have to be an eventer but I would so so recommend it it's been so fun everyone's so friendly and I have learned so much this weekend that I can't wait to be putting into practice at home but for now thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna go head up and pack up the lorry and get home nice and safe and sound with rose and take her back to her owners who have so kindly let me borrow her for this weekend and hopefully fingers crossed we'll see some more of rose on my channel in the future but thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you all soon bye guys